we had kind of started talking like a little bit and then one random night I was like hey my friend's having a birthday dinner do you want to go and she was like yeah we I literally drive to pick her up and we are in the exact same outfit so I love when I show up to see my friend and we literally are in the same outfit. <laughs> we not do plan. not plan it. Everybody plan. thinks we plan it because that happens all the time. But we do not plan it. Yeah, so she was still in the bikini division when we met. I was an amateur. She was obviously a pro. And then she actually helped me turn pro. Because she's been coaching me too for like two and a half yeah. years. Yeah. like 2018, 17, something like that. But, you know, she was just hella annoying in the beginning. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hypertrophy to the max. We don't have a lot of heavy weight, and with shoulders that's dangerous. I don't know them, so we don't know what, how strong their shoulders are. But I know that this will work no matter no matter what the shoulders do, and then we can move on as the day goes on. So this is safe. The way to send blood, fluid, everything to the muscles. So and it's, 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 it appears to be working. So we'll get there. personality like I told you earlier I'm a little bit of a sour patch kid so it can be a little sour sometimes but I'm really sweet <laughs> inside I if think that's kind of how like enough, she'll be sweet <laughs> how we are in the <laughs> how we are in the gym too like we have makeup on and stuff right now because we were shooting but I think we mm. like to wear Normal cute is that it's a just chaos yeah. and yeah. no makeup and a big ass hoodie not purple well we like, we like to look cute sometimes, but also we enjoy the gritty side of the gym too. So I think we like both. Yeah, we're a little, a little bit of both. Look at her upper body and look at mine. She's trying to do the same weight as me. Uh, we're both growing right now. Yeah. Honestly, uh, perfect beginning week for wellness, but both in a somewhat strict off season, I think. Yeah. I would say. A, a dedicated growth season, right. not off for sure. Yeah. So we're both planning on competing later in the season, uh, both going for an Olympia qualification. Uh, that will be my first Olympia in wellness. You go first Olympia ever. Ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically. But we're always like positively competitive, never in like a negative way. It's just cool to have a partner that cares about your, your you, you getting what you need. A lot of people have partners and low key their partner is trying to take them out. They're competing too much. This is great. I mean, this, to me personally, this makes fitness wholesome. There's two, two girls pushing themselves to the max, but at no point is it cutthroat. So maybe we should adopt and adapt to that a little bit. People don't know me through my social media. I know people, you know, they can feel like that sometimes that you know someone just because you follow them, right? But I really don't share my personal life on there. 
for a reason. You know? But I think it's like you said, we were in the gym doing this because we do love it. Um, yeah. And that's why we can, you know, sustain like a, a normal life outside of it where we have a life of working and friends yeah. and this and that, whatever else. And this is our hobby we do because we love it and because we like it kind of thing. And then, you know, wherever it takes us, if you focus on what you're doing, eventually results will come. We have many goals. Yeah. Plenty. In and out of fitness, for Plenty. sure. I and like we get it. to work on them together. Which is fun. I'm going to always say we do everything together. Whose nails are better? We go to the same nail lady, so they have to be the same. <laughs> Wait, come on. How you work? One, two, three, eight, go. you get to a show definitely the more dedicated you have to be into going into that show yeah but you have to be able to like live life too but if the life you want to live is bodybuilding only then cool do it I mean I love bodybuilding but for me to where my whole life revolves around it there's just so much in my opinion that life has to offer for me and I know you're this way too that it's like I want to experience a lot of things I came to work, man. I love it. Yeah, she told me a couple of weeks ago that we have to go through the stuff because she can find herself a man, and here we are, so <laughs> on the lookout. I feel yeah. like a lot of times for the longevity in the sport, this is the way to do it. Obviously, there is plenty of plenty of ways of doing it, but I like doing it that way because if I was just way into it and focused on it 24 7 and didn't have anything else, first and foremost, I wouldn't have money to do it. <laughs> yeah. Second of all, Seriously. it, it kind of like ruins Expensive. the fun where you're, you're creating your hobby or you're turning your hobby into a job and a, and a must and a chore instead of doing it because you love it. Yeah. Low balance. Even though we don't have balance. We already yeah. talked about that. <laughs> I don't like the word balance. I think balance is overrated and overused. <laughs> Why? Um, I think because people There's use it as a cop-out to give themselves like validity in making choices they know that they shouldn't be making. And I think it just keeps people in like a soft state of mind and I think if you really want to achieve something you you have to get down to the nitty gritty and my version of balance if you even want to call it that isn't you know a little bit of everything. It, it isn't doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that and having no regrets and I'm gonna eat this because I went to the gym today it's more like this is my goal this is my plan this is what I'm sticking to and your goals change right they evolve or in different seasons of bodybuilding or whatever it may be that goal becomes slightly different like right now my goal is to you know build my muscle but also you know you have to be a little bit more free with your food and not free per se but in prep it's like there is no balance so I just don't like that word <laughs> my type of balance is like knowing when to be 100% on and when, when to take a step back mm -hmm. yeah kind of thing that's, that's a good way to that's put how it. I look at balance yeah not to always have a little bit of everything mm-hmm